invite you to be seated. Yeah, the uh, if any Lily and Derek, do y'all want to come forward for the minute message? The next part of our worship is our minute message. It's a short gospel-centered message, especially for the youngest members of our church. You got it, girl. Come on. You coming, buddy? Watch your step. You got it, dude. Right here. All right. Um, I want to talk about that last sentence that we read in the psalm. So psalms are like songs in the middle of the Bible. Do you like songs? Yeah. What's one of your favorite songs? What songs do you like to listen to? We like Swift and Frozen. Taylor Swift and Frozen, yeah. Derek, do you have a favorite song? Not sure right now. What about Twinkle Twinkle by Kid Zone? Yeah, is that one of your favorite songs? So psalms are like these songs in the middle of the Bible. And the last line of the psalm that we just read is one that a lot of people know and a lot, a lot of preachers and pastors and people that write psalms use. And it said, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart. So may the things that I say and what I feel in my heart be acceptable in your sight, God. May they be good things, things that God wants us to say and think and feel. Things like love for each other and for the world and for God. Things like, what are some good things that we can tell people or that we can feel? Mm, when you're sad or mad. So like when you're sad or mad, what could we, what could we tell people? when they're sad or mad? I don't know. Not sure. Could we offer people a hug or tell them that it's okay to feel that way sometimes? Mm, hugs, okay. Oh, yeah, hugs are okay. So then I wonder what all the different ways that we can use our words and what we think and feel to give love to God and to our neighbors. So let's keep thinking about that today, okay? Can you do that for me? Thanks. Okay, Dad, but can I go see your mom? Yep. You can go on back. Do you want to go see Omi and Granddad or back to Mama? Okay. Good job, buddy. Thank you. We'll all keep our hearts and our minds and our words on ways that we can share God's love with one another today.